Welcome to Advancing with Excel Tutorials. Kindly subscribe for more updates. Now this is a simple laboratory equipment calibration management tool. It has a, an equipment number, equipment name, calibration date, calibration frequency, due date, and calibration status. So we have uh, equipment, let's say equipment number one uh, is analytical balance, analytical balance. Then we have the calibration date, say 01, 01, 2020. Then the calibration frequency is after every one year. Then we have the due date. We are going to input a formula is equals to date open the bracket here open another bracket now the calibration column which is C then we close the bracket add one year which is the frequency then comma sorry comma and then month and month open the bracket column c close the bracket comma and then d open the bracket column c close the bracket now we have this bracket open and open and closed open and closed opened and closed this one is open but not closed so we are going to add another bracket at the end then press enter now our calibration due date is now 1st of january 2021 the calibration date was 1st of january 2020 now after one year the due date is now uh, this date so the frequency will keep on changing depending on the calibration date and the calibration date will add one year if the frequency is one year to the next calibration date now if uh, uh, now the calibration is due or not due how will you know now th that question we can answer we can give an answer by designing and form a formula which will tell us the status of calibration now we are going to input an if formula which is equals to if so let's say if you open a bracket close uh, and put n open another bracket so we put now a logical test so the first logical test is that if uh, n open the bracket uh, column E which is here if that column E minus the current date which is now open and close the bracket is greater than zero comma the same same column E minus this is the second logical test now open and close the bracket is less than 15 close the uh, uh, put the comma and then if now if this column e date is greater than zero but less than 15 so it means the calibration is almost due almost due And then we put a comma we put another logical test if open a bracket the same column e minus now open and close the bracket is greater than 15 comma so it means that if the calibration due date is greater 
than 15 meaning we are remaining with more than 15 days to calibration due date so if it is more than 15 days so the calibration is okay but if the days remaining to calibration is between 0 and 15 the calibration is almost due now if the two logical i mean the logical the logical test is is false now we say the calibration is due now we opened this bracket and this one we open this and close open and close open open and close so we have three which is which are open if we have a bracket should be closed here so we have open and close we have open and closed open and closed we have open open and closed so we have two brackets which are open but not closed we close here then we press enter so in this example of ours the calibration was done on 1st of June, January 2020 and the due date that is after one year was 1st of January 2021 so the calibration status of that equipment is due now let's say let's add another equipment let me clear the rules first there's some rules which are here now the calibration status is due now we want to add the color code so that by a snapshot you are able to see the calibrations which are due the calibration which are almost due and the calibration which are okay so we input the color codes by setting the rules using uh, the conditional formatting which is found in clicking the home tab and then you move to conditional formatting now you set a new rule so we are setting a new rule now we format cells that contain the specific test the text that we are using that is due almost due and okay so text which are containing anything called okay we format them to be green in color another conditional formatting any any cell which contains specific text which are almost almost no which are due we format using red colors now the last rule is any cells new rule any cell that contain specific text beginning with almost almost due we assign them a yellow warning sign meaning the calibration is almost so for example in this uh, in this analytical balance if the calibration is almost due let's say 15 days is approaching we have less than 15 days to calibration to to due date so our calibration maybe we can you can say uh, december 2020 uh, let's say 
17 of December 2020 so the calibration is okay because the next calibration is 17 of December 2021 if we say 17 of December 2019 it is due so let's say 2020 and we say uh, we say 15 days to the current date so we may say 15 0 4 due zero five yes so this is almost due so what is happening here is anything which the rule let's say format cells that contain specific values beginning with almost due should be formatted with the red mean let me clear the rules first So you can input the rules again. So we put a new rule, cells that contain specific text which are due, we format them using the red color field. containing specific values specific text beginning with due we assign them the red color codes yes and then the cells which are which contain specific text beginning with almost due we assign them a yellow color code almost all oh, this is this is where the problem is i wrote a most instead of almost so it's a typing error it's okay now that is where the problem was then another conditional formatting any cells that contain specific text containing okay we format them using the green color code okay now this formula you can drag them the way you want to apply them to depending on the items or the equipments which have the same same frequency now what about equipments which they need to be calibrated after every six months so let's say equipment number two is auto cliff calibration date 02 04 20 20 2021 this is 
after six months. So the next calibration, you drag this formula downwards, but now you edit the formula by deleting the plus one here, and you come to the month function, you add plus six months, then you press enter. Now, if you equate these and these, there is a difference of six months. The same applies here, you just drag these, the status is defined. Equipments which need to be calibrated after every three months. An example, maybe we can say, I'm just giving a random example, an oven eh? was calibrated third of uh, January 2021 calibration frequency let's say three months then the next calibration now you drag this formula and you click here uh, the due date then you edit from the formula bar you delete this plus six months and then you add plus three which is three months you press enter now from 3rd of january 2021 to 6th of january 20 sorry sorry there is a problem now where we had we don't we delete six and replace with three because they are all months then you press enter so from 3rd of january to 3rd of april 2021 is exactly three months then you drag this formula downwards so th this is the status of that calibration so you may separate the equipment which they are one year then six months you put pull them together and then three months we have equipment which can be calibrated after every one one uh, month let's say x y z equipment it was calibrated on first of uh, may 2021 then it should need to be calibrated after one month then you pull the formula we drag them down and we click now here, we edit from the formula. Now we are adding plus one month. Then we press enter. So from 1st of May to 1st of June is exactly one month. Then you drag here. So your calibration status is okay. Now you will apply these uh, to all the equipment you're having and this calibration can be calibration done by external service provider or internal internally calibrated and you can manage your equipment very well you can also filter here by filtering uh, by use of color codes or by use of almost a due or by use of due or okay so i think that is uh, much we can talk about the simple laboratory equipment calibration management tool if you have any question contact us and we will help you thank you so much kindly subscribe our channel for more updates